So we're still, like every morning now, Marissa and I will spend 10, 15 minutes just catching these joint ill lambs. There's about five done there. We're going to try and catch this little bee, although it's not that easy because they're getting fast. Take them up. There it is. Oh, that was just nicely done. Nicely done. Marissa was quite clever there, I was too slow to get to the stick, so she took the long one, I was end up with the short one. I can't bend down fast enough to use the bloody short one. Oh, to be fair, I'm not fast enough to get to the lamb to use the stick anyway, so that's why she's here. This little lamb, it's a back leg this time with this little lamb. Back right. Good lamb. We'll jag this, feed these, on to the next job. Right, right, it's right in the middle there, we just... Probably just wait till it comes right in the middle and we'll just rush it and it'll get knocked over hopefully. So now... Oh! 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 He still got it. He still got it. That's teamwork though, isn't it? You, Marissa headed it off. You grab him, will you? Oh, that's the dog attack lamp. It is clearing up a good bit. No real pus coming out of it anymore. We jagged it yesterday as well. Pair wee lamp, but it is on the mend. Buzzing. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep is the game. Although they're getting less and less all the time, we are still getting fresh lambs daily. And we're now getting Charlie lambs because we put the Charlie out to chase up a bit. <coughs> oh, that one might be taken. No, that's a Charlie lamb, I'm sure. What an absolute beast it is. Mum's <coughs> first of the day. We'll check her in a little while. I can't believe she's twins at that size. I suppose they, they do get big. Oh, there you are, lass. We had to catch you in the field the other day. Your lambs are looking well. <coughs> Another cracking pair of lambs. Now that things have calmed down a little bit, I should build in a little bit more structure to the videos and explain things a little bit better. We're doing the morning rounds, every morning we go around, we feed everything. These lot have just been fed and now I've stopped to look at that ewe and lamb and they're running over because I've finished it, so I need to go. We'll talk to you in the next field. And of course, we're still jagging little lambs for joint ill. You see a swollen knee here. This is one of the worst ones, to be fair. The pus builds up in the knee, usually comes in through the umbilical cord somehow. From the shed, pus builds up in the joint. So, we've just got to keep jagging at it. To see if we can try and help this little lamb. I'll show you how lame he is in a second. Ah, oh, poor wee guy. Our first fresh single of the morning. Nice to see the singles are coming out all right just now. We had a few hung earlier in the week, so we're always worried about them getting the singles out, but this one seems to have done the job just herself. Couple of deer, slightly different ones this morning we've got out here. <laughs> the tails, isn't it? So you briefly saw this milk machine in the video yesterday, but I didn't really explain much about it, which was wrong of me. I apologise, we're just in one of those sort of quick days of get things done and we might have a bit of downtime to catch up on other things. So let me explain it a bit just now. Okay, so dead simple. Bag of milk powder goes in the top here. And there, like that. And then this thing keeps the milk. There's a heater around here, keeps the milk at a set temperature, that's not the temperature, that's the setting. Keeps it, we've got it shut down quite cool just now to about, well, 20 degrees I think it is. Um, that's not cool, that's still quite warm, but if it's too warm the lambs guts it and we've been having a bit of scour issues so we're trying to stop them scouring. So the powder, we're a wee bit away from a, a fresh mix, but the powder drops down out of this wee dropper, water comes out of here and there's a little whisk inside there, Wh whisks the milk as it's needed. And then comes down these tubes, 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 over to these teats here, where the lambs suck away as much as they want. 
Now, I mean, this machine would feed... I dare say this machine would feed 200 lambs. I don't know, it's a beast of a machine. I mean, fright, frighteningly expensive. And as I say, we've just got a loan of it for, for the pets this year. But, yeah, it's, it's some bit of kit. And all you do is, like, if you want more hoses, like, so, yeah, each... There's one hose to each teat, but all you do is put a split in the hose. And, like, you know, this, this thing here could do 10 teats. It can do as much as you want, and that machine can just work all day mixing milk. We'll just wait. Maybe the lambs will suck enough that we can see it mix a fresh batch. Some game. The last of our girls to lamb. Here. Couple of that one's yell. So I should really keep it in, shouldn't I? But no, they can all go out the now and we'll sort it out later. That one's yell. The rest are in lamb. When you've been in the shed for a month and you get your first taste of grass, it must be pretty sweet. It's one of those crazy, when you're sitting listening to them ripping away at it, it for some crazy reason it actually sounds tasty. Hiya! Here's Gran. Hiya! Gran and her boy. You alright, Mum? Yes, I was just checking you were nice. Falling asleep? Yes. Yeah. On yourself or something. Jesus, not that bad yet. Hey, Jock. What are you looking glake it for? You're looking glake it. <laughs> you want Newt? We'll go and play. Oh! Mm -hmm. The pack. You YouTube and jock. No, don't push those buttons. That messes up my microphone. Jock. Hey you. Hey. Hey. Don't push those buttons. Oh well. Okay. Take after your mother. Never listen to me. This girl is one of the last sheep to lamb here at home. She's achieved yet, so she wasn't due until the fifteenth of April. But she's also a triplet, that's why I brought her to the better grass. She doesn't eat right enough, she just has grass, but... It's better grass, isn't it, girl? You're in some fettle, just... <laughs> hurry up and lamb. <laughs> so there we go, we've only put her out a couple of hours ago. And she's had her triplets. <laughs> oh, that's a bra sight. Now she is a four-year-old you. These are Texel lambs. She is our last triplet, I believe, to lamb. So that's the triplets all done. She's just gonna stay a triplet because I can't handle any more pet lambs. We have far too many, as you know. Here's the girls here. Thinking about lambing. That one snuck in, because I didn't shut a gate. This is the last run out the shed this year. Uh, full trail load, gonna be three stops, I think. We've got this one here. She's going back with the ewes, no lambs on her. She's just got milk. It, not even enough milk on one side. So, <coughs> her finish for the season. We've got a hog up against the side there. She's going back out with the hogs. They're getting plenty of grass. And the lambs will have a bit of creep soon enough. So that'll help, help keep condition on the hogs. And then we've got a blue face Lester down here waiting at the gate. She goes out in the hogs field as well. They get a bit of extra feed and plenty of grass at them. And then what else? Oh, I think we've got a couple of cheviots. One there. Two cheviots in here. They'd be in the shed. One was Big Bag. That's Big Bag. Her bag's actually shrunk quite a lot now. Um, so the lambs are getting on really well, full right up. So she can go back with the cheviots. And the one just hiding in the middle here, she had two dead lambs that were slightly deformed out in a field. So she's come in and now has one of the pet lambs on her. BB, AKA Big Bag. Got the lads here from Kilmarnock office, we're all from Kilmarnock office, are, are they? Yeah, 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 they've just been following the dog attack last week, they've been up doing patrols of the woods. Look at this. 
Hey. I was gonna I was gonna sign pure old and say I never had that back in my day, but they did. They did, I just wasn't good enough to get on it. This is like the is this like the kind of top gun style stuff this? It's an elite unit. You, you're in it's it as a, well. It's an elite unit. <laughs> yeah. It's the SAS of Police Scotland here getting about on this scrambler. So the guys have been going round the woods for me and you know, just reassuring the public. Absolutely, yeah. And and doing the things, you know, chinning anyone that's Aye. You've been doing a good job yourself, right enough. Yeah, I have, I have been harassing folk with the, the phone. Not harassing them, I'm just <laughs> saying, you know, we're making a wee documentary about folk not need... You've seen the stuff I've been doing. But no, I appreciate it, guys. I think it's good for folk to see that like, the guys are out here at it. I know that you don't have time to do these things. Yeah. So, like, I, I do appreciate the effort. Oh, you're happy to help. And, and, help. and it's good that we've got these kind of things because it means that the, the BAMs are terrified as well for ripping about in their bikes. Take that as the idea of it. To... Absolutely, aye. Yeah, we've got two of them. I think um, they're untouchable, but now you can get them. That's it. Very accessible. Uh, okay. You know, some team. Big up Pooh Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> we Angus, we don't see you so much these days, you know, wee boy now. Oi, bruiser. Wait, can we? I've just had a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Jock, you've just been in the bath. Put that down. Good boy. Oh, I oh, can get in the house. In the house. Before the police turned up there, good lads, I was going to show you about this thing, but I'll show you it tomorrow. That's us first one, sheep fans. See you for the next one. That's how you get ready for your TV appearance. Does that make me look less tired? Well, you got to leave it on for a bit. Can you just can't, do you this can't go on TV like that, huh? Eh? I can just do this instead of having sleep. Who knew? Wow. That's us for this one, sheep fans. See you for the next one.